The next quest she offers is a sabotage mission, so if I accept that, another cutscene will show. So this is horror well, show. sure wasn't in our yearly budget to put the town under martial law. Now the good old boys on the console were all about thrifty spending, at least above the table. So I squirreled away where I could for some surveillance equipment. Police business, sure, uh, let's call it civic awareness. I'm talking your webcams, your motion sensors. Oh, don't look so surprised. Kingsmith might be out in the sticks, but we have electricity and everything. Running water and tourist season. Come back when this whole damn mess is blown over, I'll give you the tour far as the old lighthouse. But, uh, to get to the point of it. Seems to me we should bring that gear out of mothballs and get it hooked up around town. Gives me some early warning and the others a break from my collection of Jeopardy reruns. So, this is a sabotage mission, which has a stealth gameplay focus, these missions reward it, evading enemies and avoiding discovery, which is what the help says, but generally <coughs> you don't have to evade discovery in the early sections of the game, nor do you have to dodge enemies. So, first off you check the phone button, which I always miss. I always run out of the office just by force of habit. So if you click on the phone book, it will again tell you which uh, shop sell cameras. So if we go and have a look. Or which shops have cameras so we can steal the crap out of them. So if we run down to the gas station. As you notice, the real-time clock is up on the top right, so it's gone dark seeing as it's getting night time-ish now. So, if you uh, go to the gas station, you will find that the camera, wherever it may be, is on the roof. Now, if you stand under it and right-click, you cannot get it because you are too far away. Which means you have to figure out how to get on the roof. Now, <coughs> there's a car and a plank of wood, which doesn't work. What a shame. So if you go back behind the gas station, you'll find a huge pack of zombies! So if you jump on the on the uh, little garbage truck, big garbage truck, roof, roof, and again a roof, then you get to the edge and you can right click on the camera to remove it. Oh yeah! <coughs> Let's go, Mr. Hole. Right, there's another uh, side quest here we can use, which is select a package to deliver. So. I'll laugh this one. Go to Raven's Knock. Okay. Now, the zombies with red names mean that they can aggro you. If they're white, it means they, they will ignore you. Uh, to the left of the name tells what level the creature is. So it starts with one or two dots, I believe, and then three dots, uh, then a skull. Oh, I can't really remember. Never mind. So, <laughs> I think you can click on them. Oh, I'm not. I can't remember where you can look. Let's have a look. So, if I click on the zombie, it should tell you somewhere what level they are. And it also tells you whether they're hindered or affected by status, it's much like our bar. <clears throat> so go to Raven Snuck, which isn't here, but here's a security camera. Raven Snuck is where Raven is. Who is there? Uh... Wow. Neither here or there. 
before the zombie apocalypse? Well, you will find out right now. Or in a bit, seeing as I just have to deliver it into the post box. Oh yeah. Package in the mailbox, package in the mailbox. Right. <coughs> so, the next camera to get is the Marnie Museum camera, so if we run down. Aggro zombies! Ah! can once again see the cameras on top of the building so if we have a look around there's a, a ladder so if you right click the ladder you can walk up and then if you put the sprint button on you can jump and sprint over and then go close to the camera and inspect it. So basically we have to go into the basement to find a new camera to change. So if we right click the basement door, we will be transported into the Marnie Museum basement. Now this is a solo instance which means you're the only person that will be allowed into it. You have to do these missions by yourself. Which is pretty cool, because sometimes you just want to relax, chill out, and uh, have a good little game by yourself. Much like most people do anyway, but still, the option is there for you if you choose. <coughs> so now we're in the basement. We've got to go talk to the janitor, which he seems to be swaying a bit. Oh my go. god! If you go away now, you need to go away because I'm not feeling very stable right now. I think he wants to uh, eat your brains, to be honest. So, as you can see on the floor, there's little red lines. If you run into them, it will set off a explosive trigger and you will die. So you want to jump over all the red lines. And again, he's protected himself by an insane amount of red lines, which means if you go there, you will die. So this is the bit where the sabotage mission part comes in. If you run in, there'll be cameras, which if you run in front of the camera, it will go yellow and keep going yellow until red. And once it, it goes red, it'll start blowing up. Start firing rockets and blowing shit up. So that is not what you want to do. So the aim of this mission is to switch off the red barrier without being detected. The switch is just under the camera right there. So there's a ramp here. If you run up the ramp and run around to another ramp. And then if you just run all the way around the perimeter. You can jump up the boxes, dodge the camera, clip the deactivation switch, and get out. So that's the first section done. Now, the red bars have changed from being sideways to straight down vertical. Now, to do this, you must run between... Oh, snap. I accidentally double tap W which is unfortunately the dodge button. So basically I just did that into a booby trap. But at least it shows you what can happen if you do it wrong. So you want to just move slowly through through the red barriers. And again he's enclosed himself behind another red barrier. So this one is a bit more tricky. We still have to get over there to cut the switch off but this time the cameras move. 
It's a shame you can't jump up there because you could just run straight down there and complete it. So. Oh dear me. So, if you get caught by the camera, run straight out of the room, otherwise, you will get blown up. Damn it! Why does it detect me so? Right, so if you wait here until the camera should swivel. Well, I don't want it to swivel this way. Run! Actually, where the hell am I going? Oh, crap. Explosions! So, you want to wait until the explosions finish, otherwise you'll just get blown up. So, is that camera on red? Uh, okay. I think the camera's bugged, I'm not sure. So if I run straight around it, that's kind of weird. Okay, so I've bugged one camera, somehow, hopefully. So wait until this camera moves out of the way, and then run straight down and click on the deactivate trap. Then the cameras get turned off automatically and you can just run straight out. And then you have to kill the boss, which is portrayed as a crown. Now, yes, crown is, is the next level up from uh, three dots. So if you just kill him. And then get some lore. Pick up the item. Which is a chaos focus. Sadly, my weapon's already better. And then, if you collect the crate of ca cameras, you can now go place the cameras on the outside. Now, I did have a major talisman earlier, which was that one, yes. So, if I spend a point in major talismans, which if you hover over it, it says that it can increase your max health every time you skill up so if you skill up you get plus 20 max health which is uh, permanent which is pretty cool and then you can equip your wrist talisman now you can expand the size limit of your inventory if you want to or seeing as uh, you do have 50 slots you can open bags and basically put bags in. You can then lock it so that it doesn't disappear when you click the delete button. So if you take that out, some people like to have a lot of different bags on the screen but I think it clutters it up. So for now we'll just exit the solo instance, the mining mana basement and we will continue on our sabotage quest to stick cameras up in their correct positions. Now, the lo you do get at quite a few loading screens in the game as I mentioned before, but at least you get to look at some nice artwork. Even if it is the same per zone, but still. You can notice something new every time you look. I mean, if you look at the front wheel, it looks like it could have a puncture. <laughs> There's a dead zombie bleeding out of her head. The sign is also lit by the car's headlamps. A, head, a uh, lamppost has been uh, knocked over. And generally just some trees in the distance to make it look more spooky. Because everyone knows you cannot have a horror scene without spooky trees. <coughs> so after the loading's done, you can then run straight out and figure out where we're going to put our cameras. Now I also have skills which I can use so I'm going to buy my increased damage dealt by chaos abilities by 10%. 
which is a passive ability, so as long as you keep your passive ability on, all your uh, chaos abilities do 10% more damage. Now there's only one skill left in this um, section, which costs 7 AP. I currently have 2 AP, so I shall wait for this and then I shall finish off the first chaos section of the game. Now I've already done this, I think, even though it says I haven't. So if I click on that, well, generally it gives you the same packages, so let's pick up another package. Go to the church this time. So, <coughs> we're placing cameras and going to a church. So all the cameras are located with yellow markers. So if we go here first, it should come up with a sort of white box that tells you where to put the camera, but it hasn't done it. So if you look on the minimap as well, this is the circle. So if you run into the circle, ah, there you are. You have to put it on the street light. Now, while I'm here, I may as well run to the church while running away from a uh, ravenous horde. Now it says ravenous horde, but there's only one. So, cat claws. Yeah. Okay, cat claws are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Every time I do it, I'm like, Cat Claws! Attack of the Mega Cat! But, whoop. Hiccups galore. <clears throat> right, so, if you deliver this into the mailbox, which is located here, then you have completed that quest. Yep, you do. So, if I run straight back, and just continue on with my camera quest, I will be okay. Right, so another camera that needs to be put up is located around here. Oh, there's also another side quest we can have. Which is finding the medical report. Which we can do as we go along. So the next camera to put up is just here, so if I run up the balcony area and stick the camera on. Boom. Boom. Now if we run to the next shop, which is where the Council of Venice is, which is where you can spend your uh, um, your tokens that you get by doing quests and by doing PvP. So, and you can also sell stuff at like the chemist, so if you right click on the chemist, you can buy and repair your items, nothing needs repairing. But you can also sell your rings or hammers and all sorts of stuff. So if I sell all my hammers, healing drinks and nuts, spouts, all my rings and stuff, then it should free up my inventory a bit better. So I have more room. Now, I do have, because I pre-ordered, I do have extra XP. So if I use one of them, I now get extra XP for four hours. So we may as well use the item. Seeing as it will help out later on. And it doesn't really matter how many, how much XP you get. Because you can, you'll eventually end up getting all uh, the skills in the game as long as you do repeatable missions. So if I go to this uh, tree and uh, right click it, I've now put on all the cameras so if I go to the police station I can now view them on the computer system. Computer system! Well hey! Well hey! 
So, station security system, press number one. Initiate camera system by pressing one. So then you can view the camera feed. So if I press one and press enter, it'll show me the camera feed of uh, camera number one. As you can see, there's a little raven here pecking at the blood. He loves the blood. He loves the blood. So then you can uh, send the report and get a Lux Talisman now. So again, if you look for the DPS, unless you want to play a healer or tank, but for solo, I, I suggest playing DPS. Well, at the, at the start of the game, you can just be uh, main DPS, but later on when you get to the Savage Coast, you should probably have a mix of DPS healing and tank moves, otherwise you might find yourself um, in a bit of a pickle. So we may as well go and talk to uh, Deputy Andy as we have a bullets for Andy side quest, so find Deputy Andy, which is this you. guy, and place the ammo in the box. Quest complete. And as I'm at Deputy Andy, I may as well do his uh, side mission. So if you click on his side mission, which is called Elm Street Blues. Jeez, you never saw anything like this in the cop shows. This guy's a bit disturbed. Well, maybe on cable, not the network ones. You wouldn't know it from looking out there, but before that wicked bad fog rolled in, Kingsmith was a sleepy little burg. Nothing stronger on the streets than a hot cup of coffee and chocolate glazed donuts from Susie's. The occasional DUI or domestic disturbance. Human sacrifice. But, but every town has a dark side, right? We sure are getting a heap help in the darkness now, eh? The walking dead and worse besides taking over our town. Our survivors hold up in here, hoping it's all just a bad dream and we'll wake up to the smell of bacon and maple syrup. But unless someone ups and does something, and soon, all we're gonna wake up to is the smell of rotten flesh. And I don't need another thing to remind me of my dad. His dad is rotten flesh? Halloween does bring back the memories, eh? Oh my god. So basically, we have to go and Good kill the ravenous hordes that are trying to get into the police station. So, if we go outside of the vicinity... Actually, if we can do this quest, why we are here. So if we jump back in, Hello, my friend. we shall do the Zen and Art Weapon Maintenance. So, examine the book of the Zen and Art Weapon Maintenance. This teaches you how to craft. So the crafting system in this game is basically get your materials and stick them in certain orientations to make uh, weapons and talismans. So if you look at this book, as a reminder, this is how you can make different um, tools out of your uh, assembly parts. So if you exit that, you can grab a broken shotgun, and a weapon kit from the weapons box. Now you have to use the craft menu, which I never remember the shortcut because I don't really use crafting. Uh, assembly, which is Y. And then if you get your shotgun as the tool, or is it, no, that's the item, you can disassemble to make parts. You can then use these parts to make a new weapon. So you have to hold down shift and left click to split the item. Now there must be an easy way to do this, but I haven't found it. So you have to split the items into a certain position. Now it doesn't matter what you make, so for this I will generally just make a pistol. So if I assemble that, that's my quest completed. And that's basically how you craft. So you pick up materials later on, which you can stick in the parts menu. Uh, you can add your uh, item if you want to disassemble it to make tools. 
and then you can add in a kit which is needed to create Good a job. new weapon. So if we jump out and start killing the Ravenous Horde... Cat Claws! Seeing as I do have Cat Claws, I should probably use my Cat Pet instead of my Wolf. Oh, he evaded my claws. So if I bring up my cat instead, which I don't particularly like because he's tiny and he looks kind of kind of scrawny. I mean look at his head. But oh well, we'll use the cat, seeing as he fits in with my claws. And my purple there. So just go around killing Ravenous Horse. Ravenous Horse? I mean Horde. Uh -huh. And then we have to go to the barricades to protect them from the Ravenous Horse. So, if you let you bet all the barricades uh, fall to the zombies, you fail your mission. So, you have to stand here and basically protect. And you have some people, some cops, to come and help you. So here's the horde. I don't have any AOE moves, which kind of sucks at the moment. I'm a single target killer. Okay. So, just keep killing all the zombies. Attack of the ravenous zombies! Oh no, not more zombies! to the south barricade to do the same thing all over again. Let's kill them all! Go cat! Go! Hi cops! Come in to the south Hi right cop! Now. Bring it on, zombies! Cat claws! So... Just hold them off to stop them from killing the barricades. There's about three waves. This build is really uh, for a single target at the moment, so I'm not so good at uh, AOEing. But at least I've got my cups to help me out. So now we have to go find the source of where all these ravenous hordes are coming from. Because if we don't, then we will just get killed. Oh, more zombies are running at me. Oh my god, even more. This isn't good. I hope there's no more. That's 
sent they keep on coming. Let's just run down. Running. Running down. Oh, here's the bus. So if we first kill the small zombies, get them out of the way. And then time to kill the drug warmonger. Oh no, he's summoned. Oh Jesus. I didn't realize he did that. Cat claws! Oh yeah. I'm alive! Oh, they just disappeared. <laughs> okay, so again... DPS trinkets. And equip it. And then run back to uh, Deputy Andy again. So we can get his second quest. I've also got six ability points. I think I needed seven for the next skill, so I'll leave that for now. <laughs> so there's also, as I said earlier, we're doing the side quest for a uh, medical journal. So I might as well go pick up a few pages, uh, which is scattered on the floor here. After I kill the zombies, uh, don't let me pick up my people! So if I pick up my one page report, and then run down the alley for the second page. Actually, it'll be down the uh, next alley. I wonder if I can jump from here over that fence. Nope. Damn. Okay, so if I run all the way back around. To this side. New Anima Well. That's where you resurrect if you can die. No point I will die at some time in the future. Seeing as this game does get quite tough. I think I'll go talk to uh, Officer Andy now. Get my uh, second officer quest. And find out more about his sordid past. He seems to have a lot of daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> 